Hey, my name is uh, Provincial Constable Bill Watts and I'm with the Ontario Provincial Police Poor Credit Detachment. We're here at the Road Today Truck Show in Brampton, Ontario, talking about highway safety and how you can save your life and the lives of other people that are in your vehicle at the time. Some of the most important things that we need to be aware of is that everybody in Ontario has to wear a seatbelt when they're in a, in a vehicle. That seatbelt has to be worn correctly. The correct way to wear the seatbelt is to have your strap on the top part of your body going across the shoulder, not behind your back and not under your arm, not on your neck and not on the arm. It's got to be on that hard bone of the shoulder. You also have to have the lower strap of your seatbelt on the hip bones, which is the hard bones on the side of your body, not up higher where the softer organs are, like your kidney, liver, stomach. Those items have to be protected by being on the hard bone. When it's worn properly, your seatbelt will keep you in place within your vehicle. You also have to have your seat in an upright position, not leaned backwards. If it's leaned back too far, you could potentially fly out the back window if you're involved in a collision. Airbags are another important thing to be aware of because they could both save your life or they could kill you. You have to use them properly in order to, for them to save your life. Airbags come out of the car at 300 kilometers an hour. If you're too close to the steering wheel when that airbag comes out at 300 kilometers an hour, it's going to hit you in the face and break facial bones and chest bones. Uh, you could potentially lose a lot of blood and die before you get a chance to get to the hospital. Proper way to uh, sit in your seat is to have at least one foot between your body and the steering wheel to allow enough time for that airbag to come out completely and then you're landing on a pillow instead of having the airbag act like a brick and hit you in the face. Also we sometimes see passengers with their legs up on the dashboard while they're driving along. If the airbag comes out at 300 kilometers an hour on the passenger side those legs could break if they're sitting on the dashboard. What we're going to show you here is the items in the vehicle that happen to be a dog a baby and an adult when they're not secure, as well as the hard items in the vehicle that uh, fly around when they're not secure. I forgot to mention, specifically with a dog, if you have a dog, you need to have a seatbelt for the dog as well. What they have is harnesses that are available at your local pet store. Some of them look like this, where they've got a clip that clips into the back window where a tether strap would go for your child seat. It keeps the dog in one place so they're not jumping around distracting the driver, and they're not going to fly around if you're involved in a collision. You've got to keep the dog safe and everybody else safe in the vehicle as well. So let's show you here what happens when things aren't secure in the vehicle and uh, the vehicle happens to roll over at 40 kilometers an hour which is much slower than what you would normally be driving out on the main roads. Often people have hard loose items in their vehicle things like water bottles, pop cans, juice containers, pens and pencils, uh, even small coins. And those items if they're flying around at 50 kilometers an hour or 100 kilometers an hour are going to hit you at that speed so what we want to do is keep those hard items somewhere where they're not going to fly around and hit us. And the best places in the vehicle could be in the trunk or in the dashboard glove box or in the box between the front seats. So again, we want to stay away from the steering wheel so it doesn't hurt us when the airbag goes off. Stay away from the dashboard so it doesn't, the airbag doesn't hurt us when the airbag goes off. Wear the seatbelts correctly and keep our hard loose items away from us in the trunk or in a secure box within the vehicle so they don't fly around and hit us. Those are our safety messages here today.